Welcome back to another video guys. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I was just reading a Bible verse and I knew I had to share it with you guys because it really stood out to me. And it's from Luke chapter 14 verse 9. If so, the host who invited both of you will come and say to you, give this person your seat. Then humiliated, you will have to take the least important place. But when you are invited, take the lowest placed so that when your host comes, he will say to you, friend, move up to a better place. Then you will be honored in the presence of all the other guests. For all those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted. So this is a crazy verse because it really shows you the difference between people who humble themselves in their approach to life versus the people who want to exalt themselves uh, throughout their lifetime. A lot of people you'll see will talk very prideful about themselves. A lot of people will try to let their words speak for their accomplishments. Let them speak about their uh, validation. They need to validate themselves with their words in order to feel um, their ego being nurtured. You know what I mean? And I'm sure you guys have had similar situations and conversations with people where you hear in their voice, in their tone, in their um, personality behind them, they are trying so hard to make up for themselves, make themselves feel uh, like they are somebody worth listening to, like they are somebody um, who needs uh, praise who needs um, validity versus who versus somebody who walks honestly in humbleness somebody who walks without having to um, be needed uh, the validation from other people for their existence once you're able to live without validation your life becomes so much more peaceful I used to be the type of person that needed validation from everyone. Hey, am I doing this right? Hey, is this okay? What do you think about this outfit? What do you think about this hairstyle? What do you think about this haircut? All these things I kept thinking to myself, I kept asking for outside validation. But then what really humbled me was thinking to myself, who cares, right? At the end of the day, who cares what people think? If they like your haircut at the end of the day or not, they're still gonna like you for who you are. It doesn't matter what kind of haircut you have. So what's the point of putting your insecurities on everybody just for validation? It just lowers you as a status of a man or as a woman. Well, let's just stick to men because this channel is mostly targeted for men, but women are a different, uh, conversation with validation um, when you look back and reflect on this story put yourself in the lowest seat so that you can be exalted to a higher seat this is the common most important story and the same lesson as those who will be first will be last and those who will be last will be first. It's just another way of saying it in a parable. And I've struggled with this uh, a lot in my life, uh, trying to humble myself in order to become last because it's honestly hard putting yourself in a situation of being last. You don't know if you're going to make it uh, you don't know if you're going to get what you want on time. Uh, you don't know the outcome when you're last. But when you're first, you almost try to push and force your outcome rather than just letting it happen naturally. Um, and it takes a lot of practice, but it can be done. It's, it's, it's hard at the beginning but then over time it just becomes easier. Just with anything, 
when you are able to humble yourself, when you don't need other people's exploitations to bring you validation, when you don't need the type of people or when you don't become the type of person that seeks for attention, rather is humble enough that attracts attention, you live in such a peaceful way that you don't stress about the little things anymore. You don't stress about the things that keep most people up at night because they don't bother you. They don't move you, they don't allow you to be swayed. So I wanted to make like a just quick short video. I wanted to let you know, let me know what you guys think about these shorter videos, just quick, um, you know, Bible verses and interpretations, just, you know, quick life lessons um, and stories. Uh, I don't always have to make like 15, 20, 30 minute videos. I don't know if I've actually made 30 minute videos before, but you know, 15, 20 minute videos. Um, let me know if this, guy, this type of video helped. Uh, and if you want to see more of these types of videos, uh, make sure you comment, subscribe, and share the video if you enjoyed it. And I'm going to leave you like I always leave you in every video. Create more than you consume, serve others, love everyone. Peace.